Hi, welcome to Lesson with John. Uh, today we're trying Rocky Raccoon by the Beatles. All right, uh, your first chord is wicked simple, A minor seven. We're just going to play it all open, so your left hand doesn't have to play at all. So it's all open. That's what an A minor seven is, and this is the intro to the song. Does it four times? Okay, that's going to be your strum for the whole song, practically. Uh, practically for the whole song. Alright, so what I'm doing is I'm just going down, down, up, down, up, down, up. That's my pattern. So it's like, you could think of it like a quarter note followed by eighth notes. Um, so... It's really eighth notes followed by sixteenth notes, but you don't need to know that. So... That's it. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. If you have trouble with strum patterns, which rhythm is the toughest thing in music, uh, I think, um, if you can say it, you notice I say it all the time, so down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, and I'm kind of accenting that one that's by itself, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, down. The students think it's silly to say it out loud, but if you can say it, you can play it. It, it really helps uh, your brain and your hands get together if you, if you can say it out loud, okay? So uh, there's some problems with this one, as usual, with the uke. Um, we can't do it exactly like he's, he's doing it on the guitar. And um, he gets some things that we just can't put in, and we'll get to those. But when the words start, it follows, uh, once, once you get through the intro, which we're done with, um, now we have the, the whole song follows this pattern. You can change it for the very last time you play it, at the very end of the song, if you like. But for the, for the whole song, and you don't have to change it at all, um, for the whole song, he does A minor 7 twice like this. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. And that's the whole pattern, and he just does it over and over again. Your next chord you're going to need is a D7 sus4. We're going to play the 4th string 2nd fret, the second string, third fret, and everybody else is open. Now this one we're only going to do one pattern. So down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Then we're going to go to a D7. Leave your first finger right where it is on that fourth string. And um, add your second string, second fret. So lift up your ring finger. So instead of the third fret, you're on the second fret. It's a D7 chord, and we're going to do one pattern. That's it. So watch this. A minor 7. So those chords were D7, sus4 for 1, D7 for 1. Then you're going to go to a G7 chord for 2. This one is the 3rd string, 2nd fret, the 1st string, 2nd fret, the 2nd string, 1st fret. Two patterns on that one. And then you're on a C chord, which is the 1st string, 3rd fret. Two patterns on that one. On the guitar, you're going to hear him go, uh, he plays the C for one pattern, and then he puts B underneath it. So B in the bass. C slash B is a C chord with a B in the bass. And that's the cool part in the song, but you can't do it on the uke. <laughs> just, we don't have the notes. Um, the lowest note on the uke is the C, so I just, I, I, I got nothing. It's over here somewhere. So... Um, I decided just to leave it out, so it's such a great song, um, and instead of changing the key and trying to get that bass note in there somehow, I felt like, oh, I'll just leave it in the key, and uh, hopefully you'll be playing this guitar player play at the same time, and you can just blend in. All right, so your pattern is A minor 7 for 2, D7 sus4 for 1, D7 for 1, G7 for 2, and then we're going to do C for 2 even though he only does C for one and then the C slash B. But we're gonna we're, we're just gonna do it this way. Alright, so that way we can fit in with the rest of the band as best we can. Alright, so I'll play through it a couple times so you can get the feel for it. And the strum pattern again is down, down, up, down, up, down, up.
that's it. That's the whole song. It just keeps going around and around and around the whole time. Now, the last time, the very last time that you hear it, um, you can change it. Um, when you get to the C chord, you could do one pattern, then hit it one extra down, like a big down stroke, it's like... And um, I'm not quite sure if that's what they do or not, but it's, it sounds like a good country ending, so we're going to put it in there. So you got a C chord, so you're going to go down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down on the C, G7 once, C, and then you, you just hold it. Okay? So let me play the last line in the song the way I hear it. A minor 7. Okay? That's Rocky Raccoon on the Ook. Please subscribe, play more Ook. Thanks.